Weekly Outdoor Plus is a new and exciting outdoor show right here on Fox 55 WFXS, now on at 9.30 a.m. Sunday mornings, presented by Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point, starring new owner Gary Hintz. His youngest son, the show pro, Jace Hintz. And the show producer, creator, and host, his oldest son, Seth Hintz. So now sit back and relax and get ready to learn about archery and the world of the outdoors. Welcome to Bucks and Bulls Archery. This week I'm going to talk a little bit about your sight picture. The sight picture is a pin movement you see, whether it's on a deer or a target or a techno hunt room or wherever you might be shooting. Um, first of all, this is a sight. A lot of the sights have an up post like this. And when you're aiming at the dot or the deer or wherever you might be aiming, your pin should be floating around a little bit in the X-ring or on the deer somewhere. It doesn't have to sit really still. It's almost impossible to hold it still like this. It'll move around as, it, as you're aiming. But what you don't want, you don't want your pin to come in the target or the bottom of the deer and come up like this. And while it's still moving, you pull your trigger and shoot. Your group is gonna be like this. And you'll probably end up wounding a deer. You'll shoot low or high because you'll hit your trigger a little ahead of time anticipating it. Or you'll be past your target and you'll punch your trigger up here. Or same thing from the side. A lot of people come in from the side. They'll come in, they'll get close, wham, they'll shoot there. They'll be coming in like this and wham, they'll shoot there. And they'll wonder why you're shooting right and left all the time. And they're really not. It's they're just where the pin is when you shoot. You're hitting where you're aiming, but you're not aiming at the middle. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you, just one thing here with uh, bow stabilizers and weights that'll kinda, once you get your form down and you come into the target from the top, and this will slow it down so you can kind of just hold it here and move it around like that. It won't go like this or like that or like that. Okay. First thing we have here is a, this is pretty much just a basic a bow hunting setup. Where you, if you can see the front of the stabilizer has a slot groove on the weight. So you can move it in and out, up and down. It does a 360. However you want to do it, um, depends on when you hold your bow out, you can slide that weight around to balance your bow. So if you can kind of open your hand and your bow will stay nice and straight like this, it won't go like that, it won't go like that. It'll stay nice and straight, okay? And that will definitely help your sight picture go from jerky to kind of slow it right down in the center. And like I say, it works the same on a deer, turkey, anything, not just a target. Okay, now this setup here would be a little bit more advanced bow hunter setup where you have a back weight. And this back weight is designed, it's got another 360 adjustment here where I can go in and out and up and down. And I adjust this weight according to my grip again. This one I got balanced really nice. This is a bow I use. Look, I can let go of that bow and sit still right in my hand. It won't move just by adjusting this weight up and down, in and out to make it balanced. So that makes my sight picture slow down real slow. I can aim with confidence. It's not jumping around jerky. And I added a little weight to the bow too to make it a little bit more steady. And uh, like I say, that's kind of a more advanced bow hunter setup, but all the target shooters that shoot all over the country for money use these back bars for a reason. And I don't really know why hunters don't. A lot of them don't, but it's just another advantage to holding steady and making a good shot. All right, now this bow is set up for competition. I don't, you probably wouldn't want to take this out in the woods with you. You'd probably get tangled up in a brush somewhere and you'd be in there for a couple days trying to get out. But anyway, to, now this kind of shows you why this little hunting stabilizer is to an advantage. When a target shooter that shoots for money, that shoots competitive, some people make a living shooting archery. Why do they use a big stabilizer like this? Because it really helps them hold steady on target. It slows down the target movement. You hold steadier with the weight out front. Here's the back bar. Look at the weights he has on there. And that's all about holding steady. It's a little bit to an, over a, to a big extreme here for target shooting for money. Bow hunting, you wouldn't need all this, but you definitely would help if you had something like I showed you on the previous bow. 
Stay tuned because later Jace gives a lesson on steadying your shot also using stabilizers. Hey guys, Dave Toskowski here with Skis Meat Market. We're looking forward to doing your venison processing this year. You gotta bring in boneless meat to skis, and once you do that, we can do five different things for you. We can just simply grind it, turn it into burger. We can make three different kinds of summer sausage. We have seven different kinds of snack sticks. This year, we are doing jerky out of your venison. It's turned out really, really good. And we can also make about 25 different kinds of brats here at skis with your venison. Two things a little bit differently here at skis. Number one, we have a five pound minimum. As an example, somebody brings me 20 pounds of venison, I can do four different things with that venison. Secondly, our brats turn out really good here from skis. And one thing we do a little bit differently with our venison brats, we go a little heavy on pork. We add six pounds of pork to five pounds of venison. So ultimately, five pounds of venison turns into 11 pounds of brats. So, hey, good luck out there hunting this year, guys, and we'll see you. Hi, welcome to Frank's Hardware in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Proudly family owned and operated since the 1940s. Conveniently located on Highway 10, Frank's Hardware has all your general hardware needs and we specialize in a wide variety of products, meaning all of your paint, lawn and garden, plumbing, electrical, and many more of those household needs. Not only do we have a new one, but we can show you how to fix what you already have. Did you know Frank's Hardware also offers a wide variety of services? So stop on down to Frank's Hardware today. We don't just have great products, but we have great service. Welcome back to Weekly Outdoor Plus, presented by Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point. Now we're going to tag along with Gary and the guys as they are tracking a buck that Jason Waldvogel shot this morning. After crossing the creek and finding his arrow, he sends the gang down the trail that the deer had last traveled. Jason, he's right there. Well, here we are, it's the morning of November 8th, and I haven't seen much rut activity going on at all, and also this morning, I've seen three bucks cruising through after a couple does went through, and this guy gave me about a 30 yard shot. He didn't go too far, probably about 75 yards he ran. Looks to me like it came out the heart. That was a good shot. Second Illinois buck for Jason. So we've been here pretty much a whole week. We didn't see a lot of action until it's just starting up now. So maybe you broke the ice for us so we can start killing some deer, huh? Hopefully. Congratulations. Thank you. Nice deer. Let's get this thing out of here. You drag, I'll watch. <laughs> All the local people down here are talking about like a blue tongue or EHD disease killing deer. We just happened to find these two skulls laying right here by the creek. Um, I know it's against the law to take them out of here, so we're just going to leave them and something will eat them, squirrels will eat them or something, but at least we got some pictures of them. Let's see, hopefully they're not all dying from this disease, but I'm, obviously these two probably did. If there ain't like a highway or anything nearby where they'd be a roadkill and hunting season just started and we only hunt this 3,000 acres here and I don't think anybody else killed them, so I guess we'll see. We can, we're still seeing a few bucks anyway hunting, so we'll be all right. Stick around to see one of those big Illinois bucks get close to Seth while he's bow hunting one morning. Why does your phone work so good here and mine can't even find service? That's because I went to Sopa Cellular in Plover, Wisconsin. Sopa Cellular is conveniently located in the village right next to Menards. Stop in and check out why they have the most affordable unlimited text and data smartphone plans. They offer LG, Samsung, HTC, Motorola, and many other top quality Android market devices. Sopa Cellular has all your accessories for any style of phone with hundreds to choose from. 
so they are sure to have the deal you're looking for. Make Sopa Cellular your Element Mobile Headquarters and stop down to 1813 Park Avenue in Plover today. Take your next trophy to New Life Taxidermy in Amherst, Wisconsin, where his goal is to bring your mount back to life. Three-time First Choice Award winner, competition taxidermist Troy Piotrowski takes detailing and measurements to the next level to produce long-lasting, quality mounts at local commercial prices. So if you want to turn your trophy into a professional piece of art, check out New Life Taxidermy, 8 miles east of Stevens Point on Highway B. Call 715-572-1826 for an appointment and information, or find him online at New Life Taxidermy Studio. Com. Before experiencing it, you won't know dependability unless you've drawn it. You haven't felt smooth until you shoot it. You've yet to be this accurate. The Matthews Creed. Available at Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Real Deal Mineral. Deer eat it gone. Real Deal Mineral is the real deal. Other minerals on the market contain up to 70% salt. Real Deal has less than 7% salt and more of the minerals deer need to grow bigger horns. And bigger horns mean bigger trophies. I tried Real Deal Mineral for the first time and I saw bucks on camera I never knew I had. Real Deal Mineral. Available here at Bucks and Bulls Archery, Stevens Point, or realdealmineral.com. All right, now it's time for one of our more exciting segments here on Weekly Outdoor Plus. It's where we get to keep our fans connected with the show. Don't forget, you can send in your pictures to weeklyoutdoorplus at live.com or link them up to us on Facebook to get in this segment of our show. Each week as Sopa Cellular makes it extremely easy for you to capture these photos and then send and share them around effortlessly. Our first picture this week comes from Ginny practicing at Bucks and Bulls Archery. And here's Katie Springoff with her first archery buck she got with her Hoyt Charger she got at Bucks and Bulls Archery. And here's Frank Minervini showing us his successful 2013 Wisconsin gun hunt. Next up we have Al Huckey with this giant 15 pointer he got down in Illinois during the gun season. And here's Jerry Stremkowski with a local 10 point buck he got right around here in Wisconsin. This one comes from my uncle Ron Hintz with this big 13 pointer he got with his bow down in southern Wisconsin. This next one is of Grant and Bodie staying warm together on opening day. And our last one this week comes from Jenna Jones with this impressive 8 pointer she claims as her first buck. So stop on down to Sopa Cellular today and check out all their great deals and stay tuned for more Weekly Outdoor Plus action. Okay, today I'm going to show you the importance of a D loop. They call it a D loop because it's shaped like a D. It goes on your string where your arrow knocks and we put a knot on both sides of the string so it pulls evenly. You pull the same amount of pressure on the top and bottom of the arrow, you don't pinch your arrow. If you pinch your arrow, if you have your release underneath and you pinch your arrow at full draw, you push down on your rest and you get bad arrow flight. And this will keep the arrow flight true. Um, another thing, if you put your release on, you've got forgiveness with the loop, so you can turn it as you draw back, you get different anchor points. If it's forgiving, if you put it on a string and you turn the torque in your string, again, making your knock move up and down and you'll have bad arrow travel again. The, the D-loop itself is a little piece of nylon rope made, they call it D-loop material. And it's, it lasts a long time. It'll, you'll wear this out before you wear your serving out using this D-loop, so you don't have to keep replacing your serving. You can just tie a new D-loop on. And uh, don't try it at home. Bring it in here, let us tie it on so we can square it with your rest so your arrow tries, uh, flies true. We can square it up, tie it on where it needs to be, and you, it'll have a more forgiving arrow flight. It's real crucial with uh, broadheads. Then when we do put the D-loop on, 
you can draw back with your eyes closed, get a nice solid anchor point, and we can make, uh, make your peep sight match your D-loop for your anchor point. So if you don't have a D-loop on your bowstring, come on down, we'll put one on for you. If you do have one and it's starting to fray or wear a little bit, come on down, we'll replace it. We have different colors you can choose from and uh, it'll in definitely increase your arrow flight. Thank you, thank you very much. Hi, welcome to Frank's Hardware in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Proud of your family owned and operated since the 1940s. Conveniently located on Highway 10, Frank's Hardware has all your general hardware needs and we specialize in a wide variety of products. Meaning all of your paint, lawn and garden, plumbing, electrical, and many more of those household needs. Not only do we have a new one, but we can show you how to fix what you already have. Did you know Frank's Hardware also offers a wide variety of services? So stop on down to Frank's Hardware today. We don't just have great products, but we have great service. Looking for a fun, state-of-the-art facility to shoot your bow this winter? Blackhawk Archers in Polonia, Wisconsin wants you to join their club. Located just 15 minutes east of Stevens Point on County Road Z, Blackhawk Archers has a heated indoor range for both 3D and spot target shooters. Leagues will be forming soon, and they also will have open shoots for the public this winter. Check out blackhawkarchers.net to stay up to date and for more information. Or stop into Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point for membership forms. We'll see you there. Hey guys, Dave Toskowski here with Skis Meat Market. We're looking forward to doing your venison processing this year. You gotta bring in boneless meat to skis, and once you do that, we can do five different things for you. We can just simply grind it, turn it into burger. We can make three different kinds of summer sausage. We have seven different kinds of snack sticks. This year, we are doing a jerky out of your venison. It's turned out really, really good. And we can also make about 25 different kinds of brats here at skis with your venison. Two things a little bit differently here at skis. Number one, we have a five pound minimum. As an example, somebody brings me 20 pounds of venison, I can do four different things with that venison. Secondly, our brats turn out really good here from skis. And one thing we do a little bit differently with our venison brats, we go a little heavy on pork. We add six pounds of pork to five pounds of venison. So ultimately, five pounds of venison turns into 11 pounds of brats. So, hey, good luck out there hunting this year, guys, and we'll see you. Hey guys, welcome to this week's lesson segment of Weekly Outdoor Plus. Jason Hintz here with you. Uh, gonna go over a couple tech tips again on how to make you uh, aim better, tighten up your groups, and troubleshoot what's going wrong. Uh, the first, what I'm going to go over this week is basically going to be different weighted setups that you can definitely do to help you hold steadier because holding steady is obviously going to help you tighten up your groups by far and that's what a lot of people have problems with because they're comfortable in how much they are moving but you shouldn't move at all. It's very hard to do but eventually you can get it and it's going to take time but once you have the perfect setup for you and you have the correct form you'll definitely hold, I mean sometimes you won't even move. But uh, the different like, weight setups I'm talking about, um, there's options like what I have on my bow here. Um, basically the big key is you want the weight out the farther you can get it. Um, a lot of these people go with like the really short ones that don't have any weight on them. Those are more prehistoric times. They're basically made for either one holding your sling to your wrist or they're supposed to cut bow vibration if off of any sort of vibration you get off of your uh, riser. But the new bows nowadays especially, there's not really any vibration on them. They're kind of, in my opinion, not very valuable where these ones that have weight out front like that, it's, I mean, anybody ever go to a circus and see the person on the high rope walking with the big Q-tip looking thing? They have the weight out as far as they can get it so that they're not tipping off of it. The farther out you get your weight, the more steady you can hold it. Again, you gotta have a common, you know, what'll work for you. It's, you know, you don't wanna have 100 pounds out front if you're not used to it and you can't shoot it like that. Uh, the more you shoot, the more you can figure out exactly what'll work for you, but playing with your different setups will definitely help. Um, Another option for either target shooters or I even have a lot of friends that hunt with it is a sidebar. Um, they make little knuckle adjustments that come off to the side of your actual uh, stabilizer here in the front and you can put one coming backwards sideways. Um, if you shoot with your quiver on your bow or you have a heavier sight, that's one thing that would be very beneficial if you put it on this side of your bow because it will uh, offset your weight on this side. And another thing is it kind of cuts out your hand torque, it helps you just settle your whole bow down. Um, a lot of people go for the lightest bow you can find. It's nice if you're going elk hunting and you gotta hike up, you know, a thousand miles in a mountain. But if you're just walking into your stand, you know, 100 yards or even 40 acres, that's not too far. You should be able to carry a 10 pound bull. And if you can do that, I mean, it's definitely gonna help you slow down your shots. The more weight that you have on there, the more dead your bull is gonna sit. Where the less weight, you got wind affecting you easily, you have nerves affecting you easily, you just have natural muscles affecting you easily. Where the heavier it is, the more your muscles are gonna relax and sit there. But again, you can't go too heavy until you get used to it because again, you go too heavy, you're gonna start shaking more because your muscles can't support it. So you gotta find the happy medium. There's a lot of different setups you can go with. 
Um, if you want to try some out, come into Bucks and Bulls. They have a lot of different setups that you can do. Um, a lot of the guys there have their setups there with them, and they have different stabilizers too. They are definitely friendly. They'll share with you. Try out different things and see if it would help you out because, I mean, look online at what uh, professional archers shoot in indoor and outdoor competitions. None of them have a short little stabilizer or no stabilizers. They all have anywhere from a foot to three feet long stabilizers. Why? Because obviously it's going to help you hold steady. But you can't have a three foot stabilizer in your tree stand. So they make ones like this where it holds the weight out as far as it can. That's why it's a disc. It's a little more heavy. It's farther out. There's a lot of different options like this, but go over, I mean, see what you're using right now. See if you did throw a little weight on there, if it would help you out. And again, don't be afraid to ask us if you have any questions. Call Bucks and Bulls. We're more than happy to help you. And uh, otherwise, check us out on Weekly Outdoor Plus. And uh, all our previous episodes will also go over a bunch of our different tech tips on how to hold steady or get your group smaller. So, uh, have any questions again, give us a call. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week. Real Deal Mineral. Deer eat it gone. Real Deal Mineral is the real deal. Other minerals on the market contain up to 70% salt. Real Deal has less than 7% salt and more of the minerals deer need to grow bigger horns. And bigger horns mean bigger trophies. I tried Real Deal Mineral for the first time and I had over a thousand pictures on my trail cameras in less than a week. Real Deal Mineral. Available here at Bucks and Bulls Archery, Stevens Point, or realdealmineral.com. Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point is now under new ownership and has a new location. Stop down to 3272 Church Street and meet the new owner, Gary Hanks. His fully stocked pro shop carries Matthews, Hoyt, and many more products to serve all your needs. They also do all repairs for any style and full customizations. Leagues and lessons will begin soon, so stop in today and check out what's new, because we're confident that we can get you from in here to out there. Bucks and Bulls Archery, Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Take your next trophy to New Life Taxidermy in Amherst, Wisconsin, where his goal is to bring your mount back to life. Three-time First Choice Award winner, competition taxidermist Troy Piotrowski takes detailing and measurements to the next level to produce long-lasting, quality mounts at local commercial prices. So if you want to turn your trophy into a professional piece of art, check out New Life Taxidermy, 8 miles east of Stevens Point on Highway B. Call 715-572-1826 for an appointment and information, or find him online at New Life Taxidermy Studio Com. Why does your phone work so good here and mine can't even find service? That's because I went to Sopa Cellular in Plover, Wisconsin. Sopa Cellular is conveniently located in the village right next to Menards. Stop in and check out why they have the most affordable unlimited text and data smartphone plans. They offer LG, Samsung, HTC, Motorola, and many other top quality Android market devices. Sopa Cellular has all your accessories for any style of phone with hundreds to choose from, so they are sure to have the deal you're looking for. Make Sopa Cellular your Element Mobile Headquarters and stop down to 1813 Park Avenue in Plover today. And now into a morning bull hunt in central Illinois with Seth and Matt where their first movement of the day is this rare all black coyote. Not long after did this huge buck come down the river bottom right to us. Since he was looking for a fight and didn't see one, he came in nice and slow.
But after checking out the area, he would not come in close enough for Seth to get a shot, which means he will have to keep hunting for him. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Weekly Outdoor Plus presented by Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Don't forget to check us out online at facebook.com slash weeklyoutdoorplus. See you next week.